C. Lindelof videos, multiplying functions to get composite functions, start with this idea that we're given f of x is equal to 4x to the 2 thirds power, and that g of x is equal to 5x to the 1 half power, and we're asked to find f of x times g of x. It's actually as simple as it seems. What we have is f of x, it says clearly here that f of x is 4x to the 2 thirds power. This multiplication side right here is this one right here. And it says clearly that g of x says that g of x is equal to 5x to the 1 half. So we have 5x to the 1 half power. So not a big deal. What I, am, what I do kind of want to remind everybody is this because it bothers people because they tend to end up trying to distribute all kinds of weird stuff. 4x to the 2 thirds means 4 times x to the 2 thirds times 5 times x to the 1 half. Look at this example just for a second. If I take 2 times 3 times 4, it's equal to 24. If I take 4 times 3 times 2, it's equal to 24. If I multiply two uh, sorry, 3 times 2 then times 4, it's equal to 24. What I'm des describing to you is the fact that multiplication is commutative and we can move these things around. So what I'd rather do is multiply numbers because I know that. So I'm, I'd rather take this number, 4, times this number, 5, times this number, x to the 2 thirds, times this number, x to the 1 half. I haven't done anything. I've just moved the pieces around. I'm not distributing. I'm commuting. I'm moving the pieces. So keep this as your explanation of why that works. This gets pretty easy, I think. One thing you have to keep in mind is that we know a rule, right? That x to the power of m times x to the power of n is equal to x to the power of m plus n, one of the six fundamental rules of exponents. This much I really know. I know 4 times 5 is definitely 20. So now I have x to the 2 thirds plus 1 half. Okay, that sucks because we don't have common denominators, but we can do a little side math over here. We can say, okay, I have 2 thirds plus 1 half. We remember that we have to have common denominators. So what is the least common multiple of, of 3 and 2? It's 6, isn't it? So I'm going to multiply by 1. Here I'm going to multiply by 2 over 2. This is just 1, and 1 times 2 thirds doesn't change 2 thirds. Different pieces, but same amount. And here I'm going to multiply by 3 over 3. Why did I choose 2 here? Because 2 times 3 is 6. Why did I choose 3 here? Because 3 times 2 is 6. But looking again, 3 over 3 is 1, so nothing changed, right? I'm just multiplying by 1. So see if we agree on this. 4 times 2 is 4. 4 times 3 is 6, plus 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6. Isn't it true that 4 6 is the same as, one, as 2 thirds? And isn't it true that 3 6 is exactly the same as 1 half? So we haven't really done anything, have we? When we add those, we get 7 6. So here's our answer. Our new function, the one that we're looking for, is 20x to the 7 6 power. We could write this in radical form, but I'm not even going to bother you with that right now. This is a good enough answer for us. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks.